Today I'm going to be showing you how to get keyboards for iPhone or iPod Touch running on 4.0 and above. Real simple and real easy. So please bear with me. First off, you are going to need a source base, which I'll provide in the in the link in the description. Okay? Okay, so uh, not that we got that clear, let's get started. First off, you want to go to Syria. Step one, go to Syria, and you want to scroll down until you see more package resources. Excuse me, sources. Once you're here, you want to scroll down until you see i-axis you want to go ahead and install that confirm it once, have, once you have um, installed it you want to return to Syria and you want to go to search okay now here we're gonna have we're gonna type in i axis like so okay now now you you have a lot of choices as you can see but the one we're looking for is iAxis for China iOS 4 only that is the one you need you cannot go wrong do not choose the other one this one China okay you want to go ahead and install it Now the download will take like around three minutes literally to download. So please bear with me. Alright. Confirm it. Once it's done downloading, it'll ask you to restart the springboard. Excuse me, springboard. Now go ahead and do that. And what it basically will do is just restart the springboard and it'll take you back to the home screen. And you will have a a new icon called iAxis. I'll get back to that later. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Okay, once you have rebooted your phone, you're going to be taken to your lock screen and then your home page or your home screen. Okay, now if you, uh, wherever you are, um, you will know that the last app application on your page, whatever, whichever page you're on, you're going to have iAxis. You want to go ahead and go to iAxis right now. Okay guys, as you can see, it pops, a message pops up in Chinese saying that you have to reboot your phone in order for you to use this. Okay, and if you uh, go ahead and click OK in Chinese, you automatically get kicked out to your home screen. Okay, so what you want to do now, keep holding the wake button. Sorry guys. Anyways, you want to go ahead and just shut it down and then just turn it back on and it'll work. Alright, so do that right now. Okay, once have you restarted, you want to go back and try iAxis one more time. But that's 
that's important. Remember, you have to, if he kicks you out the first time, you have to reboot your phone. Okay, so now we're just going to hit OK, and there you go, guys. Okay, the next step is very important. As you, so, as you see so many off and on switches. What you want to do is switch everything off starting here. Off, 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 and off. Okay? Once you've done that, you want to go and hit the home button. We're done there. Okay? So the second step, this requires you to go, to go back to Syria. And this time, we're going to go get some keyboard things. Okay? Okay, once you're in Syria, you want to go ahead and add a source by going to Manage, Sources, Edit, Add. Okay, now you're going to add a link in which I have in the description. Go ahead and pause this video and go ahead and type, this, uh, type the link in the description onto your device. The link to the description is. I'm gonna go ahead and type in Syria. Dot. My repo. Space. The word space. Dot com. Slash. M K thirty two ten twenty four and you want to go and hit add source. It'll verify it and it'll download immediately right now. Okay, once you have uh Added the source, you want to go hit back return to Syria. Done. Go to this repo you just added and you want to skip over to the iAxis section. You have the iAxis Glossy, the iAxis MacBook, iAxis MacBook BLK, and the iAxis Storm. In this case, the Blackberry Storm. Okay, so go ahead and choose any of these keyboards, one of these four. I'm going to choose the Glossy. Once you've chosen your keyboard, you want to go ahead and install. You want to go ahead and confirm. Okay, once you've gotten your keyboard downloaded, you want to go and hit return to Syria. Okay, that's well. We're all done with Syria now, so go ahead and hit the home button. Now, what you want to do next is you want to go to your winter board. Select themes. And there it is. You're going to have your custom keyboard on the very top, depending on which one you got. And you want to go ahead and check mark it. Go back to Winterboard and respring. Okay, once you have respring and you're at your home screen. Now everything else, if everything, if you did everything what I just said correctly throughout the video, then it will, it will work for sure. Let's see if it works. Okay. Okay, here's here's the tricky part. You see that little globe on the lower left between the space bar and the one two three button? You wanna go ahead and hit the globe. And there it is guys. The iGlossy keyboard or whatever keyboard you use. Here it is. Fully functional. That is how you get your keyboard on 4.0 and above any device iPod, iPhone I don't know about iPad but if you guys want to go ahead and try if it works you will be my guest okay 
So now, if you did, if it did, if it didn't work for you, then you did something wrong because I just did it right now, step by step, and it worked for me. So, and it also worked for my iPhone 4, so it should definitely work for you. Okay. Now for the iPhone 4 users, you may notice that it's out of resolution, like it's really like it's blurry because for some reason these keyboards are not updated to look good. So it'll probably look it'll look decent on your iPhone 3G or 3GS or iPod. But on the iPhone 4 you might see little squares. So yeah. That's it for this video guys. Um Please rate, comment, subscribe if you like my videos. I will post up so, so much videos about the iPhone or iPod Touch. Okay? So that has been on how to get custom keyboards on any device, iPhone, iPod Touch, on 4.0 and above. Okay? So, good night guys. Or good morning or good evening or good afternoon, depending on where you are.